Hello guys, my name is Matthew and in today's video we are going to talk about Skeda, which is very nice meeting room booking system. We are going to talk about its pricing plans, we are going to compare it to its competitors like Meteo for example, and also I'll tell you more about Skeda itself. And then we'll create the account and I'll show you what it's in all about. So, Skeda is the world's leading space scheduling uh, platform. It leverages automation and extensive uh, customizability to remove the logistical headache of managing all manners of spaces at your organization. It is ideally suited for rooms, desks, laboratories, sport facilities, community facilities and more. SCADA allows uh, organizations to stop wasting valuable time but auto by automating complex uh, booking rules, policies and administration. It prevents uh, double bookings and collects and centralizes all relevant booking uh, information for your spaces into a single platform you can view at a glance. With uh, SCADA you can take uh, bookings day in, day out, without any manual intervention on your part. Once your system is set up, your users can make bookings uh, according to your rules and configured policies. You can start accepting online payments by our partner Stripe and integrate uh, easily into applications like Microsoft Outlook, Xero, Google Calendar, Google Sheets, Zoho, Slack, MailChimp and uh, 1000 more. Skeda's interactive floor plans provide you and uh, your users with a crisp, clear view of your spaces and their positioning in uh, your venue. They are located at Australia and they are made for all types of businesses and even the freelancers. You can run it in your web browser and also they are providing very nice uh, live support. So you'll be taken care of. With pricing, uh, there are no pricing with uh, no setup fees as you can see they are offering three options core pro and premium okay Geneva. Uh, with core you will have a powerful booking platform at a zero cost uh, five administrators two color rules one custom field plus minus that's about it because uh, the rest is blank and I don't really see also the integrations, but yeah, it's paid on. Uh, with Pro version, everything's unlimited. Booking activity feed is uh, 90 days. And also you have everything unlocked uh, up until inside, uh, inside the dashboard. And then premium with everything fully maxed out. So let's try it out and let's create the account. With flex option, uh, it's a booking platform and the workspace workplace it's uh yeah let's go with flex your venue organization's name mkt choose your new scada url techtips.scada first name matt king email address Hopefully we won't be waiting too long. Uh, okay. Okay. So here we are. Welcome to SCADA. To make space management breeze. Yeah. At the moment, learn about spaces, add text, add rule. We won't be uh, needing this at this point. We have a techtips.scada.com and we can proceed. On the left side, you see our taskbar. We have also um, the workspace, the people and the insights. Then when we scroll lower, resource center and also the settings. I'm trying to, yeah, integrations are in here. So, uh, specific app integration, 
you can even integrate it with the Gmail, uh, complete fleet, then QuickBooks for account uh, accounting, calendars, basically you have everything in here. If you won't find anything that goes uh, in there, Zapier will help you out easily to create these uh, types of uh, integrations. Easily we can add a user by uh, adding an email. Telephone, as you can see, they are not providing only with Australia, US, but also Europe and uh, Oceania. No tech selected and organizations and simply we can add a user. We can add him. Uh, you can uh, add him some rights if he's part of your team or, or not. You can also send an invite link for uh, people or for um, for a person to just invite. You see, just like that, he can just join in as uh, he can just join in as a part of your team. And then we have the insights of uh, test mode, utilization, and many many more options. But uh, what we have here are all the plans for the upcoming upcoming uh, calendar year or weeks. I don't find it very easy to read. Um, I believe there are better options that I came across. For example, Meteo is a nice one. And this most certainly will take time to learn all about. But guys, uh, I would love uh, to create more videos because I don't really like timestamps because it really mess up your mobile um, mobile phone YouTube. And it's hard to click exactly where you want to. So I'll rather cre create more three minute videos about each and every step about the calendars, about the context, uh, contacts and the users and the utilizations. So, so far, if you have any, uh, any types of questions for me, mm, please leave them underneath this video and I'll try to answer them as quickly as possible. Up until then, thank you guys for watching and see you in the next videos. Have a great day and goodbye.